Hi YouTube, it's me Danny, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danny. I make vlogs about travel, aviation, feminine energy, and all things that I'm passionate in. Today, I have woken up in beautiful, beautiful Launceston in Tasmania. This is my first time to travel here uh, at leisure and not for work. I'm here with three of my girlfriends and we're here for the next couple of days and we are going to explore a little bit of Tasmania, which I'm so excited about. I thought I'd take you along with me on my journey um, because we're going to get up to a few really cool things which I'd love to share with you. The first thing that we're going to get up to, so we've woken up really early in our beautiful Airbnb. Um, unfortunately, we're only staying here for one night. I would love to have stayed here for longer. Um, but if you are traveling to Launceston, I'll put the name of the Airbnb in the comments below and you can stay here for yourself one day. Um, so before we head to the East Coast, peninsula of Tasmania we want to go and get something to eat we've hired a car which we got from the airport last night all of our flights were delayed so we ended up arriving around midnight last night so we just basically went to sleep and we've woken up early and now we're going to go get some breakfast at a place called Tinka which has been recommended to us um, and it's a brunch place in Launceston so come with me and let's go get some breakfast and see what else there is to do in beautiful Tasmania it's a beautiful beautiful Airbnb I love this kitchen ah. and we even have a fireplace and this is our rental car We just had a lovely breakfast at Tinka um, and now we're on our way to Freysenet, I think that's how you say it, um, and we're going to an oyster farm to do a tour, which we're really excited about. So now we're in the car and we're going to go for a bit of a drive, I think it's two and a half hours. Um, and yeah, we're excited. Stay tuned. So we've just arrived at Freysenet Marine Farm. Um, it took about, yeah, just over two hours to get here. It was a beautiful ride. Um, very easy to drive from Launceston. And we're excited for our oyster tour. So we're just about to start our oyster tour and I'll introduce you to my friends. So this is Effie. Hey. I've got Kiara and I've got Adriana. So this is my girl squad and yeah, we're gonna have an awesome weekend in Tassie. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha. 
Good job, everyone. Shut to my first oyster. <laughs> We all shucked our first oysters. How exciting! <laughs> Adriana, what did you think of the, the tour and the, the oysters and the mussels that we ate? Um, well, I must say <laughs> that the oysters were very tasty and very fresh. I think they're better with lemon, you know, keep it mm -hmm. simple. I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely the lemon. Really nice with the lime too, though. Yeah. yeah. I like the lime. The lime was good, but I definitely prefer the lemon. Yeah, we like the lemon. They were so fresh, like, sometimes, like, with normal oyster, oysters in Melbourne, like, you can't chew them because they're just not that tasty. These were, like, if it was a, if it was a next yeah. level yeah. yeah you could taste the freshness like they really tasted like from the ocean that's what you want um, for all the seafood lovers you want your seafood to taste like it's just came out of the ocean yep. and that's what it tasted like today at the tour <laughs> highly recommend the marine oyster farm tour if you're ever in freezing it Oh, it's very long. This is our second Airbnb. Oop. Wow. It's nice. Oh, cool. It's so big. How's that? So we have just done a big grocery shop <laughs> and we're gonna we've decided that we're gonna stay in because we love our Airbnb. It's so nice and we have a beautiful view. Um, so we're gonna stay in and we're gonna cook ourselves tacos for dinner and we bought some wine. No, I don't think it's from Tasmania. No, it's from Italy because why not? Um, <laughs> why not? Why not? And yeah, we've got some snacks. <laughs> yeah, so I'll show you guys later once we finish cooking um, our beautiful, beautiful dinner, which we're going to eat with this amazing view. I don't know if you can see, but we can see the ocean from our Airbnb, which is awesome. We've just arrived in Coles Bay because we're going to go for a hike. But before we go for our hike, uh, which I can't wait to show you guys, we're going to get something to eat, some coffee. So we're going to a place called Geograph, which has been recommended to us um, for breakfast and coffee. So yeah, let's check it out. just arrived at the hike for Wine Glass Bay um, and I believe the mountain is called Mount Amos which we're gonna hike up you need to buy we're just gonna buy our pass so to visit this national park um, it is it does require a fee which we're gonna find out now and then we're gonna make our way up the mountain and see some beautiful beautiful views of Wine Glass Bay Per car, it costs forty-one dollars and twenty cents, or twenty dollars and sixty cents per person. And that's for a daily pass. And you can buy your tickets here. We've decided to do the Wine Glass Bay Lookout hike, which is less intense than the Mount Amos one. Not my decision. All the girls outnumbered me because they want to do the easy hike, but I really wanted to do the hard one. 
and my heart is so broken right now because I've seen pictures of the Mount Amos lookout and that's where I wanted my photos and if you've been following me for a while you know that I love my travel photos and I will do anything for them <laughs> and these girls have like ripped my heart open I feel like I'm bleeding <laughs> from <laughs> the inside like and the only reason is because I'm so outnumbered and I just which means that I have to come back so yeah I have to come back now so I can do the proper hike <sighs> it's hard when I don't get what I want I struggle <laughs> <laughs> really struggling with this but I guess it, everything in life is a lesson and it's a time for growth <sighs> So yeah, we're going for this hike, but I, I'm i going to be optimistic about the end result, but I just, I know I really wanted my photos at Mount Amos. But let's see, let's see what Wine Glass Bay Lookout has to offer. wine glass bay that's the bay there um, it looks really beautiful uh, I think we might go down and have a look um, on the beach if we can a little bit later but that's yeah that's the view from the wine glass bay lookout but this is not the Mount Amos view which is much higher but it looks so much more beautiful and the photos are really really amazing from that viewpoint So we just finished our hike, um, We it took us about an hour and a half like up and back, it wasn't so difficult so if you're not that um, confident at hiking it's probably a good trail to do the wine glass bay lookout. Um, now we're going to go get something to eat at a place called Devil's Corner, um, it's not too far away I think maybe 30 minute drive and I've heard this place has really beautiful views and they have really good wine, um, I love going to wineries so I'm excited, excited to have a look at this place. So we have arrived at Devil's Corner, uh, a beautiful winery, I don't know if you can see some of it. We're just freshening up in the car and now we're going to go and get something to eat. time at the winery we spent so long here because we we're like taking so many photos it's really picturesque if you're ever in I don't even know what area this is if it's freeze in it definitely visit Devil's Corner winery because it's really 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 beautiful food was good wine was good highly recommend so we have driven back to Launceston and we've arrived at Cat Cataract Cat Cataract Gorge. And there's oh my god, there's a a peacock. So beautiful, there's heaps of peacocks here. Um, but we're gonna have a picnic. We we have our flight in a few hours but before we go to the airport we've decided to come to this gorge um, which is like a beautiful uh, national park and we're gonna we've bought some like wine and olives and cheese dips 
we're gonna have a little picnic at the park so we're really excited and there's so many peacocks here um, which I think are really beautiful apparently they're dangerous but I think they're so pretty Look at this. It's a wallaby. So cute. Look at these beautiful peacocks. I just think they're stunning. This is a male one. Look at its feathers. Um, it's actually mating season for peacocks, guys. guys. Tasmania trip. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. That really helps me out. And make sure you subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. And until my next video, take care of yourself and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>